join me in a very warm welcome for Joe Blake. <clears throat> Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. I, uh, I return that affection tenfold. Yeah, this is a, our um, uh, opportunity to work together over the years has just been remarkable. And, and thank you for including me this evening. I have been looking forward to, uh, to being with you tonight. Bo, thank you for the great job that you have gone through to prepare Paris for this. It's, it's, it's a remarkable moment. And uh, like great moments like this, you ought to pause and hold them in the palm of your memory as long as you can. I realize you're at the head of the waterfall and exciting things are happening tomorrow. But what an amazing opportunity to have the chance to meet your colleagues from these eight great institutions from Wyoming and Utah and Colorado and New Mexico. What a great moment. And uh, I just urge you to pause and, and take full advantage of it. I, for those of you who um, need to know, again, Bill Daniels has created something so unique, so special, so permanent, that um, you're also part of, of a waterfall that will continue to flow for a long, long time because if you've, you've been afforded this experience, uh, this Daniel's Ethic Initiative is really unique in the country. And this 2014 consortium that you are a part of is something you should wear as a, as a monument for the rest of your lives. It's, it is a special time. I know that you have got to be so excited about tomorrow and that whatever words and phrases I might spew forth uh, will be muted like some sort of a graduation exercise because your minds are focused on, and does anybody remember any graduation speech? Uh, but your minds have got to be focused so much on the work you've been doing as a team uh, in plan A, the strategies you've developed, you're anxious about the presentation you're going to be giving. You really are. You've been thinking about that. Um, uh, I realize that the folks from the University of Wyoming, this is a terrible pun, forgive me, got off to a rocky start getting down here. But you're here. Uh, you've changed in one closet or another, and you're ready to go. But you know because you've been working as a team and, and, and with your, your faculty advisors on a very complicated, a very complicated issue. And you're ready for it. But you know, it's interesting because in a kind of a way, this is a metaphor about life. You know that tomorrow, after you finish your 12 minute presentation and you've answered the questions, you're going to be getting plan B. You're going to be getting something unexpected. You're going to be getting something you haven't had weeks to prepare about. And it's kind of like life, the unexpected. In fact, I would say that this whole question about ethics and conflicts and honesty comes at that intersection of the unexpected. We are all expecting things to be pretty predictable and we conduct ourselves accordingly. But when you get into that situation where all of a sudden it's unexpected, then values get challenged. It's very lonely. You don't have a team. It's you and the unexpected. Sometimes those are, those are not fun. Um, Linda mentioned I, I went to, uh, I went to Dartmouth. I was an English lit major at, at Dartmouth, and I love words, and I love, 
I love the uh, breaking down the meaning of words. It's it's fun. And when uh, this is one, Jenna, this is going to challenge your Russian. I uh, this is not Russian. This is Greek. There's a wonderful word that I have been working on for weeks to try to give it to you. And if you've got a pen, I don't know if anybody's got a pen, but if you want to write this one down, this will last longer than any drivel I'm telling you tonight. There's a wonderful word, para prosdokia, para prosdokia, P-A-R-A-P-R-O-S-D-O-K-I-A. It's a Greek word. It's a figure of speech. Para means in spite of, despite. And prosdokia is Greek for expectation, the unexpected. Um, it is a figure of speech in the sense that the ending of the sentence is a surprise. It's unexpected. Um, Churchill loved para prosdokias. Um, I'll start out with one, Zsa Zsa Gabor. Zsa Zsa Gabor, I don't know how many times she was married, but a lot. And she said, I was a housekeeper. I get to keep the house after every one of my divorces. You had probably for me, this works, light travels faster than sound, that is why some people appear to be bright until you hear them speak. Where there's a will, I want to be in it. You don't have to have a parachute to skydive. You have to have a parachute to skydive twice. Groucho Marx, outside of a dog, a book is a man's best friend. Inside of a dog, it's too dark to read. Well, those are examples of the, the whole world. And there is a world out there of people. Fight for nonviolence is always a good one. But there's a, that's the humorous side of the, of the unexpected. But the unexpected, I can tell you, is going to happen. It is going to happen no matter what you think in this moment, the plan B that you're going to get tomorrow is literally a metaphor. You know, when we talk about ethics, it seems to me, we oftentimes scold. We oftentimes spew statistics. We, we throw out words like Enron, or we throw out Madoff, or we, we throw out currently GM. But I don't want to talk about statistics. I don't want to spew statistics at all. I want you in these few precious hours that you're going to be doing this to recognize that ethics is your signature. Ethics is your imprint. It's too bad, the English lit major in me says, it's too bad that ethics is a noun. Ethics should be a verb. You are ethics in everything that you do. In that intersection, it's going to hit you. It's going to hit you in your personal life. It's going to hit you in your professional life. It is inescapable. It is not something that can just be prepared for with a team and with great faculty advisors who can give you the lessons of the past. Because the amazing thing about ethics is it's you. It's not a body. It's not written in stone. It's, it's not immutable. It's you. And I, I can only wish that tomorrow you have the most amazing experience with plan A and plan B. And I hope that all the tomorrows you get after tomorrow 
you turn that great word ethics into the most powerful verb this country, this economy, and your personal life will ever know. Thanks for letting me share it with you.